Last season, as Arsenal competed in the Premier League title race for the first time in years, thousands of new fans flocked to the Emirates Stadium to watch the Gunners in action. Because of this, the increase in demand for tickets skyrocketed. Games sold out within minutes of tickets being released, the online queues were hours long, and bots were used by some people to buy tickets and then resell for a higher price on third-party websites. I spoke to Gav, who runs the popular online Arsenal blog, She War, and has been an Arsenal member since 1986. He told me about his experiences. The better we got throughout the season, the harder it was to actually get a ticket and it got to the point where nobody, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what time I had to log in, what time I had to get into a queue, whether I was in the right queue. Uh, and it all just seemed, unless you was completely and utterly savvy on what time you press refresh and what time you log in, look, you didn't get a chance because these 2,400 tickets were being sold out in, well, within two, three minutes. To help combat these issues, this season Arsenal introduced a ballot system. I'm sure you've heard of it by now. Club members can enter their specific ballot for a game via the Arsenal ticketing website and are told a week later whether they've been successful or not. I spoke to Raymond, Arsenal season ticket holder, a member of the Red Action Gooners group, to find out some more. Well, demand is still obviously very high. There's, uh, the, the team continues to do well and, and people want to watch this team. Um, I think one of the main things was if you didn't have a job that allowed you to be online at like 9.30 when ballots, uh, when uh, silver or red sales went live, um, a lot of those supporters were disadvantaged. Um, so it was a different way of distributing and, and trying to level the playing field a bit. The last few years I've been booking up for uh, myself, my friend who lives in Doncaster, who... Uh, drives a, a, a lorry for a living. And my friend who lives uh, in Jersey, who's an air traffic controller. Right. Now, obviously, my friend who's driving a lorry can't pull over and the air traffic controller can't exactly say to his plane, you've got to circle because I'm trying to book Arsenal tickets. Uh, but between the three of us and our partners and other friends, we managed to find somebody who could log in to book the tickets. However, despite this seeming a lot fairer than the old system at first, there are still quite a few problems. First of all, loyalty is not rewarded. Someone who's been a Red member for 5, 10, 15 years has the exact same chance of getting a ticket as someone who bought a Red membership in the past week. This has meant lots of regular Arsenal fans haven't been able to get to home games this season, whilst new glory hunting fans have been to multiple games. Eight years I spent only been able to get League Cup games or hoping one of my mates who was a season ticket holder or was on the ticket registration scheme couldn't work or paying. I used to know somebody in one of the pubs who I'd pay 10, 15 quid extra for and I'd get a seat for that game. You know, it it was hard work at Ivory. So, I mean, for the people now that are just starting and they're getting tickets, I'm thinking, well, did you put the eight years I put in with getting one or two games a year? You know, you look back a few years when, when tickets were extremely available and there were half empty stadiums for Europa League games. And, you know, when we played matches uh, when the team wasn't doing very well, you could buy tickets for the next game as many as you wanted. Ticket uh, fixtures would go to friends and family and you could buy up to four tickets on one membership, um, various other things like that. So, when, you know, those of us who went to those games are probably thinking, well, where, the, where were those guys when the team weren't as good? You know, people talk about the supporting through thick and thin. Unfortunately, I don't think that's reality. People want us to see a successful team. I mean, I did actually put it to the club, which they completely ignored. Look, a fairer system to have put in, as opposed to uh, this ballot, would have been to have a, a loyalty plus games attended system, where people, for example, got one point for every year they'd been a, an Arsenal member, and they got one point for every game they'd been to in the last, you know, two, three, four, five years, whatever it is, and then sell the tickets on a point system basis. Uh, that way, newer Red members, they're still going to get their games for the League Cup, uh, and in three or four or five years' time, they're going to have the points to perhaps, you know, get to a couple of Premier League games, uh, and also it protects the Red members that have been Red members for, some people have been Red members now for 14 years. 
Uh, and now they're getting to a point where they've paid a membership fee for 14 years, and it's exactly the same as someone who's bought one last week. It, it's just not right. Another problem is that there's no guarantee of getting any tickets at all. A person can enter every single ballot for every single home game of the season and end up with a grand total of zero tickets. Now this is of course ridiculous as some people are paying £240 a season for a red membership for the single benefit of entering these ballots and may end up with winning none of them. One final issue is that you can't choose where you sit if you do win a ballot or if you get a ticket on the exchange. Your seats are selected randomly. This means you may pay £15 for a ticket or may be placed in the best seats and are forced to pay £100. Obviously, this isn't affordable to most people right now, especially with the cost of living in the country. This problem also means that families are being separated. I used to sit with my family for games and we booked tickets together. Now it's done randomly, this season for example, I've had to sit in the North Bank upper tier whilst my mum has been on the opposite side of the stadium in the West Stand lower tier. And it's splitting up families as well. You know, you've, you've got, you know, people are saying, well, there's four of us, look, we used to book up together, but now what we're going to, not now what we're doing is we're booking up in pairs. And so you've got like two members of the family in one place and, and two somewhere else. And what they don't realise, the people that put in this system is, People have got a, a spot where they like standing. Uh, whether you like, you know, whether people like standing lower tier at the front, or whether people like lower tier at the back, or whether people like to be near Ashburn and Army, or whether people want to be the front row of the upper tier, or you know, everybody's got a spot which is their preferential seat, which they, which where they want to go. And by not get, letting people choose where they sit or even given a chance to sit in what tier, they're taking away that choice of people's, you know, people, people, what people want, really. For me so far this season, I've entered all ballots, which is about 12 or 13, but haven't won any tickets so far. The only way I've managed to get to home games here at the Emirates Stadium is through the Arsenal ticket exchange. I felt somewhat of a disconnection with the club and have found it harder than ever to get tickets. Arsenal have clearly tried to resolve the problems that our supporters faced last season with tickets. However, the new ballot system has only just opened up another can of worms. A better solution must be found soon before it's too late. I think they'll make some changes to the ballot system. I don't think they'll go back to queuing. Um, there will be a few other things like, for example, if you entered the ballot but you were unsuccessful, successful, you might be at the front of the queue to apply for any ticket exchange tickets. Um, ahead of anyone else who didn't actually apply for there. And there'll be various other little tweaks and they will just have to try and raise the, the, the probability of you being successful as a silver or red uh, of getting a ticket. So they are listening. Um, they did try to fix it with the best of intentions. However, the total number of, si of silver members and the total number of red members who want to go to games versus the available tickets for those areas, there is a big disparity there. So. The stats speak for themselves, unfortunately. The chances of getting a ticket for any game are probably 10% or less at the moment. There has been so much debate about it and it is dominating all of the fans groups and all of the fans forums and all of those type of meetings. They've actually got a separate ticketing uh, task force or workshop or whatever you call it set up just to talk about it and share the ideas. They will definitely need to make some tweaks. Um, and hopefully those tweaks will, um, you know, have the desired effect. Like nothing will change this season. Uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, next season, my only hope is those that run the ticket and membership department actually speak to supporters, you know, speak to people that are silver members and speak to people that have been red members for years and actually listen to them because the club aren't listening. They have these meetings with the fans for them and they just tell people what's happening. They don't actually listen or have a conversation. They're just, they're just not taking into consideration the, the loyalty that supporters and paying supporters have been showing uh, you know, for decades. And it's all to chase getting as many, mem selling as many mem red memberships as possible and selling as many corporate dinners. Do you know what I mean? that They don't want me or you turning up in the upper tier uh and for even if it is for 60 70 quid uh they want 
two people that are going to go for a meal beforehand, go in the shop before and probably after, and spend four or five hundred quid. All I say to anybody listening is, you know, email the club, complain about this ballot system, tell them your own story, tell them that you know, because they they will know when you email in if they check your membership number, they will know how many games you've been to, how how long you've been a member. Uh, so just just email them in and and, and voice yeah. your disapproval of, of this. Just totally unsupportive, friendly system. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope it's given you a bit of a better understanding about the situation that us Arsenal fans currently find ourselves in. Of course, it's a great problem to have. The team being really good on the pitch at the moment will always mean that more people want to come watch games here at the Emirates. And I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that the club can find some sort of a solution soon which will please the majority. Of course, a big thank you also goes out to both Gav and Raymond for agreeing to speak to me. They've given me a much better understanding about this situation too. If you did enjoy watching, please make sure to like, subscribe, share and comment and I will see you in the next one. Bye!